Hello. Oh yeah, Miss Carl left me. Yes, sorry there. I don't know the phone dropped. Um, are you um part of the GAA in Belive or yes? I am the secretary. Yeah. yeah. Hi. I was just inquiring there. My name is Fiona O'Leary, and um, I just heard something there, and I just wanted to clarify if it was true or not. Um, did you did you the team accept money from Scientology there last night? Twenty thousand to use the car park. Is that correct? No. It's not. No. It did not. Well, there's a there's a rumor. I don't know. Are you aware that there's people saying that that's not true? That there was a meeting and um, that that was. There was a meeting held, but there was no money accepted from Scientology. Was the meeting about Scientology? No, it was about the builder, Gadsden. Yeah, I know, but it was it was about that that you were going to allow them to use the car park while they were constructing the Narconon facility. I'm I'm very yeah. involved in this. I'm actually a campaigner. I campaign against Scientology um, for many years now. So you're telling me that's not true because um, we have a journalist looking at this now. So I, I'm going to accept that you're saying that you haven't made an arrangement with with this. No, we've accepted no money from Janssen or Narkin on our Scientology. Or but they offered they offered you twenty thousand. That's correct. Yes. No, they did not. So they offered us ten thousand euro and we declined. And they came back then, they offered us... Uh, Who, who's they now? Is this Linda Alred? This is Finian... Finian something, project manager for Gats. And that's the builder, that's, that's the construction? That's the builder that's working there. That's who but this, that, that, is, that is a very um, unusual thing to do, to approach a, a GAA club and offer cash payments to comply with them. didn't offer cash payments. So that's where you're getting it all wrong. Well, you just, you, you, you they, just said they offered you 10,000. That's 000. what they offered at the beginning. And it was, it's Ganson Builders. They need McClark and it's they offered 10,000 or whatever. It was 8 or 10,000, something like that. This is going back maybe 3 or 4 weeks ago. Okay. And it was refused. And there was a meeting last night as regards to why it was refused. And they've reverted back with another offer. So that's back to the club now to decide. Oh, so you but haven't you haven't you haven't decided yet? No. Okay, so what do There's they? No money on the table. Well, what, what did they offer you this time then? Did they offer you more? They have offered us a building, a flat pack building, and um, other building materials to bring the sewer up to the GA grounds in Copla. So the builders have offered to give you a building now. They've given us the, the pipe and to bring the sewer. They've offered to give the pipeline for the sewer, the, the man was, um, and they've offered to give a flatback building there of 60 by 40. So you know that this isn't the builders offering you this. You know that this is the owners uh, of the building, which is Scientology. <sighs> that are, they're, 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 they're getting the builders to kind of weave you know, an arrangement, that's how they work. So just to clarify, this is what Scientology have done in um, Fur House in Dublin. They pay people off because they are doing very dangerous things, um, especially because of kids. I have kids myself. I have five. I have two autistic children. This is very important um, if you are the secretary. These people um, tell parents they can cure autism and they offer them bogus treatments. I've reported Scientology to the guards in Dublin and to the HPRA. And... Um, you know, you're working with kids and any arrangement or anything that you accept from Scientology, that will be on your conscience because they are only doing that to get at kids. They want young people to join their cult. They want to recruit them. All the staff up in Fur House are young people. I mean, 18, 19, 20. They don't go after older people like you and I because they can't brainwash them as easy. So, um, you're telling me, because I'm going to go back now, because I'm involved in a campaign against Scientology. We have a Facebook page called it Say No to Scientology, and we've done lots of protests. And I'm going to go back now. Um, what's your name again? Sorry, Ke Kevin, is it? Yes, it is indeed. And you're the secretary. And you're saying that they offered you a cash payment a few weeks ago. You said no. And now yeah. that... And now you're being offered a no, building. I didn't say no. I don't know. The committee said no. Okay, so the committee said no. Right. Now, now you've had a meeting last night, and they've offered you a building and some work with the sewer. Yes. And you haven't come to a decision yet? No. So when will you be making that decision, do you know? Oh, that's down to the, the members of the club. It's... And is there another meeting coming up soon? I think it's important that you're, you're public about this, that the public need to know. If... The public always know. 
Well, they didn't know about no, the this. The meeting was there, for, it was there for everybody last night. And was it worded that it was about this particular issue? No. No, because I saw on your Facebook page, if you just bear with me, because, yes. you know, you want to... There was an EGM call, was there not? There was a meeting, but it didn't say what yes. it was about. So how would we know? No, but sure, we don't have to disclose <laughs> that information. Pages, Sorry? We don't have to disclose that Well, you do. You, well, I think, I think it's EGM, important. It's an emergency general meeting. It's there for everyone to come. Yeah, but I think this, you, is, this is Kevin. You're of your member of the club. Kevin, if you're not a member of the club, you're not Kevin, the Kevin, if you're going to be working with Scientology, you're putting the public at risk. You're putting my children That's at risk. That's your opinion, Kevin. No, 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 it's not my opinion. And don't, that is your excuse opinion. me. You're claiming I'm working Kevin, Scientology. Kevin. You're having a fucking buzz. No, what are you talking about? So you're swearing at me All now. Right. You're swearing at me. Because you're you, you just, you've just told me they've offered you a you're building. Like, you're accusing me of taking cash payments from Scientology. I'm not accusing I you. I'm not, I, shush, I'm not accusing you. People of Beliver. That's what you're saying. People of Beliver. Are concerned. Is that not what you're saying there? No, I didn't. You see, you, please, you are, please calm that down. From Scientology. I haven't spoken to Scientology. But they are the ones. They are the ones that own the building. The builders aren't making arrangements with you. They want their yes. building constructed. They want to use your car park. You're answering the Scientology. Is that it? Okay, sorry, I'm not. I, I, are you? Are you? Are you really like? Trying no, to behave, you, be naive here. I don't here. actually know. If, saying, if you're saying... Are you saying... I'm, no, I'm not. I'm saying the building is owned by Scientology. They are getting the builders to come to you because they need your car park. And what you should say is no. Because you don't want to be aiding a cult that hurt vulnerable people, which is what they do. Do you know what Narconon is about? Have you read up on it? I have to have thought the clue. Right? Well, I think Very you much. should. I, I think you should. If you want to protect the members of your club down the road, go and educate yourself. Don't call me pet. Don't swear at me down the phone. You should be thanking me for reaching out to you. That's the truth. Hung up on me. They're GAA. Don't you love them?